Hello and welcome to another first solo visit for Touring With Us. Hopefully we'll have more visitors or even members of the Touring With Us team will come along to this location. As this was the first visit with myself, Nick Coffey, to a place in Norfolk named Downham Market. We'll check out how to get there and mostly the spoons in this small visit and bearing in mind it is only a small visit and hopefully there'll be more videos to come next time round. Hello yet again and welcome to Touring With Us. Of course this is the train that I'm going to take here and I'm going to do some videos here in a brand new area that I haven't been in my entire life. So I'm going to check it out and hopefully one day I may be able to do it alive with some people as well, which would be great as well. Well, having just left Cambridge, I think we missed out Cambridge North, but we're heading to Water Beach now. Before we get to the train station of Water Beach, which is the next station, check out the beautiful scenery here. It's absolutely worth coming on this train route. Still gorgeous weather, isn't it? As we are coming into Ely. Don't you think it's nice to see the sheep on the ground there? I think one of them is the panicker. <laughs> well, it looks like a campsite there, like a haven holiday kind of thing. But actually, it's probably owned by a lot of people that buy caravans. I'm going to let you hear the sound of the train now, so I'm going to keep quiet for a bit.
Well, just this minute, arrived at Downham Market train station here, which you can see the track is now empty because the train has now gone up towards Watlington and Kings Lynn, which is the next two stops from here. Nice little bench to sit on there. So this is the main station, I gather, of Downham Market. Now, to cross over, I would have to cross over here, I presume, because, you know, this is the first visit for me. So I'm just guessing, and I'm probably right by saying that. And that's probably where you would actually get the train back to Cambridge, if you wanted to, or even Ely. Or even a few stops beforehand. So here's a board here which says Kings Lynn. Different sort of board to what you would see in Cambridge, but yeah, it's interesting to see all these different types of boards. Now I have just discovered here without even asking, as this is down the market train station here. This is the way to cross over from here because you might get confused that you can't cross over here. And this, I presume, is where you would actually cross because it says town centre left over rail crossing, which I'm going to head towards this way. It doesn't say turn right, that's the car park there. Just down here. On my walk, on my solo walk today, I'm hoping to get to a spoons today. So this is the way you would actually come here to cross over. Bit of an awkward thing because I don't have a bridge. So there you go. Just to be aware that to cross over here safely if you're coming in this direction. If you wanted to catch the Cambridge train or London King's Cross, that would be that board there and in that direction. So for the purpose of this video here, I'm going to actually show you the route onto the other side of the platform of the Downham Market train station. It's a small station and you can see there are lots of different boards there uh, telling you about the Greater Anglia stuff. but yeah if you go onto the platform it's quite a simple one in that sort of aspect there and there it is so this is the side you catch from king's lynn now as it is the first video i'm actually doing of down at the market because i hope to visit again one day soon as it's the first visit, I thought I'd do a video instead for touring with us. And the reason why I was wanting to do it, because I'm nervous first time. So I did a bit of research this time and checked the Google map. Because I'm actually heading towards the spoons here because I like visiting spoons. And we hope to show you that in just a little bit. So hence editing the video here that you're seeing so pretty much walking from the train station which is in this direction here I'm walking on the left hand side of the road very quiet down here at the moment but the apparent river spoons is the whalebone and it's on the right hand side of the road let's see if I can find it I've got guidance helping me along the way in case I get lost so we had to edit a bit of the footage because of course a load of kids were running across the level crossing which of course is those barrier stuff that goes up and down and we don't encourage anyone to actually run across them i was walking really really slowly i have to say but of course i didn't get it on film but i think you got the gist of what i'm talking about i've come across a church here in this area as we get closer, we might get a better view of it. 
Well, it does look like a church from where I was standing, but actually it's not. By what it looks like close up. Well, a good way to remember where I am is, of course, even for me, for the first visit, I would then look at the Downham Market Garden Centre, which is just there, and the train station is just there. Not only for my information, but for you lot at home as well. And have a look at this. Some history attached to this. The railway here. Look at that sunset there. Absolutely brilliant out there. Wow, some history about the railway there. That's where we just came across there. That's how you get across if you wanted to go into the Downham Market. Just here, I've discovered that myself. It's that platform for, of course, Cambridge, okay? Hopefully you got the gist of that. So it's that platform for Cambridge and that one for King's Lynn. Some history attached to all this, look at that. Amazing, definitely worth it. And a bit about the church there. If anyone likes history. Now we've got to head into that direction if I was to go further into the town and check out the spoons, the whalebone, I believe it is. But this looks like the right way to the um, town. And guess what? It wasn't on the right hand side, it was here. How strange that is. I found the spoons. It's not that far away. There's the beer garden, there's the whalebone. How an unusual kind of star pub that is. Looks like an ex Green King star pub from the outside there. But it looks absolutely fantastic. Shall we check it out? Well, just for those people who watched my last video in Newmarket, here we are in Downham Market. Something like that. And I've got it right, seriously. I'm only just having a little joke. Yeah, it's all part of the act here. Um, yeah, down in market we are right this minute and just outside the Wellbone Weatherspoons. So, what I would like to say is for those people who sometimes I get things wrong and I do try to correct it, as this was my very first visit, please respect me for that because, yeah, or respect touring with us team as well because sometimes there are visits that we go for the first time and not always we're able to know in time so we'll leave it on that but yeah let's have a look at this a bit about the pub there and opened in march 2018 that's interesting to know because a lot of these spoons don't normally tell you when they were first opened so it's useful to know that information there. Well I've just entered the Wellbone in Downham Market here. You can see it's got a clock there. A clock time and of course just after well ten minutes past three but yeah it's a kind of like nice looking clock there. So this is the entrance just there where I just literally walked in. The toilets are down in that direction and it, it goes up in the stairs kind of basis. Those are the condiments, the sauces, the ketchup and all that kind of thing. Keep the sachets, tomato ketchups and all that. But the bottles, <laughs> yeah. I don't mind the bottles but of course, yeah, the sachets are good as well. So here's the TV screen, they've got BBC at the moment. I do believe they should or could have a bit of both GB News and a bit of BBC or maybe RTV, a bit of everything really. I, I think it's just fair that they should do that. All women's moves, not just this one. But yeah, you've got gaming machines there. And I'm on no number 55, as in table number. You can scan it if you really want to. 
on your app. Well, it kind of like goes onto the internet if you scan it. A lot of people don't know about this. I was confused about this at first. You've got to have a scanner on your phone. And of course, you can use your app as well. You can see the menu is from the well bone there, down in Market, where I've just arrived. I thought it was miles away into the town actually. And then I look around, there's the bar. And you can see there's hardly any screens around here. But I have noticed, by the way, I have noticed that there's no electric charging point, apart from the machines that are in use there. And that's the only screen I've seen there. And the sanitizers are around here somewhere. The coffee machine is just here. And there's a beer garden just to the right. So yeah, I'm being careful as I film. I don't want to film too many people. The section over there is quite busy over there. So I didn't find a seat over there. Hence getting the seat here. Best time to come on a Sunday, I think. Let's take a look at the menu. Currently, we've still got the 3.99 prices there, I believe. Oh, actually, come to think of it, in here you've got all-day brunch, seven pound oh five, and with an alcoholic drink is eight pound thirty-five. A bit like the Regal in Cambridge, very similar to that. If anybody knows the Regal. And uh, of course, that's the difference in this pub. That's with a soft drink, by the way, 705, and it's a lot cheaper. Of course, if you get the smaller version, you can see that. And I believe they've still got the offers, which are 399 still at the moment. And uh, of course, that's with uh, any drink. And you've also got. £5.29 of course with an alcoholic drink so it's a little bit more always with an alcoholic drink and that's when it ends there you can see there inclusive most all spoons are like this so overall I have enjoyed my experience at the Wellbone in Downham Market which is literally not far from Kings Lynn one direction and the other direction where I'm actually sitting right this minute so it's right on my side and left on the other side so to the right is Cambridge on my side and to the left is Kings Lynn all on the train or if you travel by car but yeah overall my experience has been absolutely fantastic I have to say it's been really really great great staff great food and just a great energy all around the only thing that really disappointed me is i went to the bar of course to order sausage chips and beans the staff was quite polite so i don't want to get in an argument with the staff of course there's nothing against the staff whatsoever and all that kind of thing but of course i asked for sausage chips and beans instead i got a kid's meal well i got offered one and of course it cost a little bit more, £4.10. That included the side salad, £1.80. And of course, she forgot to ask me for the drink. So I decided to have a cup of tea for 99p. And as a result, it cost about £6 in total. I can actually show you. And she printed off two tickets just to prove that point there's nothing wrong I'm not going to get in an argument over it and you can see exactly what I'm talking about there hopefully you get the gist of that I've dropped my wallet on the floor but there you go there it is there okay hopefully you got the gist of that plus the tea there okay that's the tea Sorry, I had to pick up my wallet, which I've actually found that it's got even the devil on it. So, warning people, don't steal it. Anyway, so as a result, I uh, 
reordered the sausage chips and beans and it's been over 10 minutes by now and I've just received about five minutes ago this um, Pepsi Max Small and hopefully the sausage chips and beans will arrive soon okay and when it does we'll get you a picture of it so the reason why I've ordered it twice is to see whether it comes on the app which should arrive soon okay join me in just a second there we are this proves it on the app it was available but at the bar which is over there next to where the plug is just there it wasn't available can anyone work that one out tempting isn't it so yeah I look like a DJ here it's making me a little bit more comfortable because it's keeping my ears warm anyway um, thanks for watching and uh, I do hope you can join me next time for touring with us and hopefully with a little bit more people next time on this particular note or in this area of Darren Market which is between Cambridge and Kings Lynn as I previously said definitely worth coming along 7 out of 10 I would rate it overall this particular visit it was quite overall very nice and hopefully it will be even better next time see you out and about or you'll see us out and about well one thing to leave you with as a bonus like I do on some videos here is this beer garden which probably looks good now even in the winter summer and spring or spring or summer and it will look amazing at all times of the year I'm sure it would it's worth checking out in particular in the summer I'm sure we will be back in the summer checking this out so yeah next time we hope to go more further into the town and show you a bit more of the actual town and I'm sure there's a marketplace here because of course it's similar to new market here and uh, of course you know when we say it's similar to new market it's got the word market on the end of it but it's just got down next to it on the first bit yes I have spelt it right <laughs> if anybody's wondering but uh, next time we will go further into the town I'm sorry we didn't have time to go to all of it I just wanted to go to the main point which I might showcase a bit more in depth next time as a tour of spoons only how about that would that be something that you might like to see in the future let us know in the comments and don't forget if you haven't already subscribed to us make sure you do it's free of charge to subscribe not like a monthly fee but you can see it's getting dark there so yeah it's time to get my train now catch you all later
So, of course, in the end, I did get the train in time. Because, yeah, guess what? I've made it. And, uh, of course, this is coach number three of eight. And I've got access to the door. And I'm on my own, which is great. So nobody can spread any germs to me. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, finally, for watching. It is quite dark now, you can see out the window that it is dark. My voice is bad, so listen to this. Little Port is the next one, but we can't see anything outside as I say, apart from my face. But until next time, take care, I'm on my way to Cambridge. See you all soon. Well, that just about seals the show today, my old weather friends. And thanks very much for watching this short clip of Down and Market in Norfolk. Wherever you see us next, hopefully you have a good time by then. And don't forget to subscribe to us if you haven't already for touring with us as you see on the screen now. Subscribe free of charge. Doesn't cost you one penny.